Today's home improvement brought to you by Aero Service Team. Carmel learns how to fix a problem you've most li likely run into. Let's take a look. Hey there, Carmel Victor here with Caleb the Handyman. Hey guys. <laughs> we are going to put a hole in the wall. Why are we going to put a hole in the wall, Caleb? I am not sure. We're putting a hole in the wall to show you guys how to repair the hole in the wall. Isn't that right? I guess. Uh, you know, I thought you guys were going to be doing something. Other than that, I thought this was a volunteer program. <laughs> where you guys are going to come and fix my house, not destroy it. But we're well, destroying it. Let's today. put a hole in the wall, I guess. Let's go put a hole in the wall. Harder. Smack it. Go crazy. Sorry. I feel like I made it the wrong place. Is that good? That's perfect. Okay. You guys are paying for this. <laughs> so after we make the hole, what's the process like to repair the wall? Uh, we're going to do something crazy. We're going to make that hole bigger. Oh. Okay. Yeah, we're going to cut a big old square so it's easy to put new drywall in. All right, let's do that. With, what's in your pocket? Uh... What did I put there? Yeah, that's the drywall saw. Okay, so after this, what's next? Then I'm going to do a little tip and trick, okay. which is... What is this? This is a sketch for the hole. Uh, doesn't need to be too precise. Okay, and we're gonna use this to trace the filling. Precisely, Carmel. So we're gonna be using the trace paper and using a utility knife to cut out the new drywall. Then, bust out. So we're ready to Yes, I think so. I think what I got here works. Mm -hmm. It fills. So we're going to do a method where you put this board behind there, screw it in, and then we're going to screw the drywall to the board. Cool. Now do you need this? I do. Okay. Mm, let's do that. Finito! And you want this more flesh with the wall? Yes. The yes, you want it concave, actually, for this part. And then we'll explain we want it more convex with the drywall mud that we're gonna mix outside. All right, let's go get dirty. Let's get some sun. So, Caleb, we're outside and we're gonna make the mud, as you call it. What does it actually consist of? Join compound water. Okay. That's it. This ain't for drinking, Carmel. We're gonna be making some mud. All right, let's make some mud. And then I get to use this cool tool to like mix it up. Yeah, the Ghostbusters tool, as yeah. you called it. Yeah, which I, I think it's pretty neat. Okay. Let's ride with that. So how do we, um, what do we do? Let's get some mud in our lungs. So we're gonna be dropping this in. We don't need much. I'm gonna make this thicker than normal because we're gonna be filling up those big cracks. Gonna pour this in. I'd say that's okay for now. Mm -hmm. Then you gauge it by doing this, so. This looks like it's gonna work. So now that the mud is made, we could just slap it on the wall? Yeah, we got about 45 minutes before this thing hardens. Mm -hmm. So, you know, let's, you normally can use proper tools, mm -hmm. but hold this for a second. Okay. Um, you know what, slap that on there. Okay. I think that's easier that way. Notice how it's thicker yes. than you'd normally have for skim coating walls, which you usually use joint compound for. But I needed to fill in those big kind of holes. Oh, those, got it. Okay. Those, yeah. Like and mainly the sides. And so you can feel, what I like with the hands is you can feel ah, that it's like. That's how you do it properly. Yeah, that it's like, it's, you can feel that it's flush and kind of even. But you want this more concave than convex because we're gonna be sanding this down. And you don't want it like pushed in because then it's gonna look silly. You're not gonna be able to cover that up with just paint, you know. All right, so now that we slapped the mud on there. Literally, we literally slapped it on. What do we do next? What's the next uh, step? We'd wait for the timer. This is about 45 minutes for it to dry. Then we'd sand it down and kind of give it even with the wall. And that's how you fix a hole. That's how you fix a hole that I put in the wall. And yeah. I just wanna thank you for letting me Smash a hole in your wall. Yeah, and who's paying for this, Carmel? Don't worry, CL 701 got you covered, and thank so, you for letting me be able to do that. So You're very welcome. It. You're the best. Oh. oh, 
my goodness. Okay, first of all, we need to say thank you for the ab workout because yeah. we've been laughing so hard. Caleb needs his own show. He he does need his own <laughs> show. Oh, or let's He's, just go over to his house and knock holes in the wall just to, just to see him do it over so again. So funny. Okay, we do need to thank Aero Service <laughs> Team for our home improvement segment. We're going to be needing to see more from Caleb, that's oh for sure. Oh, my. Oh. <laughs> Coming up next, Marlo lets us know what we should celebrate on our National Day calendar. And we'll let you know the latest happening in the entertainment news coming up next.